Right people, originally today I was supposed to set up my new Fluval Roma 240 aquarium. However, unfortunately there has been a slight delay and my tank is not getting here until next week. Which is a little annoying, but we do have a few things to do anyway, so it's not too bad. So yeah, today I'm going to give you a little update. I'm going to show you what I've done with the plants and the hardscape. We're also going to go to Wholesale Tropicals to pick up the rest of the hardscape that I've already purchased. It was supposed to come with the tank together, however now that it's delayed for a week, I'm thinking I might as well go pick that up and we can let that soak with the rest of the stuff and I haven't fully decided yet but I might go to Fish Planet after Wholesale Tropicals to get myself a fire eel. You see the last time I was there I saw the fire eels and they looked amazing man. However I needed to do some research first which I've done now and they are peaceful fish so we might actually go today and pick ourselves up a fire eel and yeah let's just see what happens. Alright so here are the plants we have so far. Oh, we've got two Anubis plants, we've got this one, we've got that one, and we've got that. We also have the two pots, um, that's just a grass and that's the red plant. Sorry, I don't know the names, guys. And yes, people, also, I know there's a chance that there's snails in here and they could be going into this tank. It's cool because there's already snails in this tank and I need to fix that problem anyway. I just want to make sure that these plants are okay because they are for the 240. Alright, here we've got my bucket, there's all of my stuff, got a big piece of wood here, we've got all the little pieces of spider wood, we've got the other pieces of rock in here as well, but you know what people, what I want to show you is this piece that I just found today, look at that, it's actually already got a cave, right. look at that, perfect, it's actually perfect, I don't know how I didn't see that, but definitely picking that up as well. Okay, cool. So just carried all of this. We've got another bag here and we've got a little fish in there as well. I'm going to show you when I get back. Actually, I can't show you because my mom's going to have to put this fish in for me because I'm about to go to Fish Planet and get that fire eel. But yeah, we've got all the rocks. There's more wood in here as well. And we're going to soak that when we get back. A few moments later. All right, people, this heat is killing me, but we are back now. And I got myself the fire eel. Now, people, I'll keep it real. It was way too hot to actually, you know, pull out my phone and start talking to the camera. So I just took some shots in the shops and that. But basically what happened is I went to Wholesale Tropicals. I picked up all of the hardscape. I actually saw a really cool black ram. So we picked up the black ram as well. And we picked up some Java moss that we can put on the woods and rocks and everything. But yeah, after that, we put everything in the car and I'm made my way to fish planet and the main reason was literally this eel right here the fire eel people the fire eel is 
is so so adorable it is amazing man it's acclimating right now but obviously i'm gonna lay it out soon and then i'll take some footage of it in the tank as well but the colors are crazy it's got this blackish blue body with these red stripes i'm thinking i might call it nami if you know you know now i'm gonna let this eel acclimate a little bit and in the meantime we can take all the woods and rocks and put them in the bathtub alongside everything else so they can all start soaking as well right, we've already put this piece in because it has some java moss on there but we still need to put all of this in here so let's get started got some java moss as well we're gonna put that on loads of the stuff but for now we can just let it float in the actual fish tank there you go simple as that and now it is time to release the fire eel oh look how beautiful it looks man absolute beauty wow 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 Alright, and that was it, man. The eel's inside now. Of course, it went to hide straight away, um, but when it comes back out, I'll take some footage and that. And yeah, that was basically it, people. Like I said, originally, I was meant to set up my new fish tank today, but that's been slightly delayed. But it kind of works out because we get to soak all the new hardscape as well, alongside all the other stuff. And yeah, one more week, people, and then no what? fish tank is here of course i'm going to do a little care guide on the fire eel as well i'm going to keep it for a few weeks so i know i'm doing everything properly and then i'll post one for sure so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that and yeah i guess today was a successful trip to the fish store if you want to see what happened the last time i went to fish planet then click right here